What's going on out there, YouTube? This be your boy Beastie Boy Drama, back with another tutorial, and this is the USB GX Loader Tutorial Part Two. This actually right here should have been Part One, but I wasn't thinking when I started making them, just because of the uh, a lot of questions I've been getting on on the USB loader. Like some people can't get theirs to work; it's going back to the black screen, and they need these certain files. And this is what I'm here to show you today. I didn't really know what people wanted to see. So the only thing I want to show you today is how to install the CIOS files, the custom iOS files, and how to use the WAD manager. Just those two things right there. And first off, I'm on my computer first. I am going to be going to the Wii here in a minute, but I'm on the computer first just so I can uh, show you what to have on your SD card. And first off, you, uh, you know, you have to have inside of your apps, the actual USB loader and you should have uh, when you uh, install your homebrew channel if you use uh, a certain one the one that I told you to use on the uh, video before it will it will come with these right here the iOS Wii Gator and the iOS right here that installer right there and uh, iOS 236 those are like the only three you know what well, only two you need is this one right here and the installer right here I didn't I didn't even use the Wii Gator one but those are the only two you gonna need and for your WAD manager, you will need the WAD manager, and you will have to make a folder called WAD. And this is what you're going to put your WAD in. If anybody don't know, this is how you install like, like Wii channels on your uh, Wii. I don't know how to actually explain. It. I mean, I'm not like a WAD expert or nothing, but these are some of the WADs I have already installed on my Wii, uh, like the Super Mario 64, Super Mario Bros. 3, like the actual Wii channels where you can go right to it and play the game. Let me show you how to install some of those. And this is how you actually install the USB uh, loader channel right here. You just got to have this right here. This will come with your USB loader GX. So just make sure you copy that file and paste it into this folder, the WAD folder. And I'm going to be installing two new WADs. And that's the game uh, Wave Race 64 and Shinobi 3 from the Sega Genesis. So I'm just going to drop that right in there. And that's pretty much all I have to show you on the computer. So I'm about to go ahead and jump to the Wii where we can start installing these files. Alright, back with you now here on the Wii. First, I'm going to show you that I am still using the Wii version 4.3U. As you can see right here, 4.3U. First off, let's go ahead and go into the homebrew channel. Now when you get here, the first one you have to go to is over here, the iOS 236. This is the first one we'll be installing right here. Now you do have to follow these instructions, like just as I say them to you as I do them. And I will put them up here also if you can't read it that good. And this one is pretty easy. All you have to do is press the one button to install iOS 236. And when you press the one button, it will start installing it. But I'm not going to uh, press it or start it because I ha already have it installed. But when you press it, it's going to just start installing it. So I'm going to go ahead and exit. And that's pretty much it for that one. But this one right here is the one that's like a little bit complicated, but it's not too bad. And this one is the, the iOS X right here with the little Sonic face right there. And this will be the one where we will be doing a little work to. First you have to start it off. You have to go into your iOS 236. This is the version that we're going to be installing it to. Right here, 236. Now you have to do is press the A button to continue. And it loads it up real quick. Then a little disclaimer comes up. All you gotta do is just press uh, A button to agree. Next, right here, we're gonna be starting off with iOS 56 version 5661. After that, you just continue on, and we're gonna be going to the iOS 249. This is gonna be the 249 that we're gonna be installing it. And yes, this is a wild installation. Let's press A button to continue, and we're gonna be using the source of the Wii SD slot. And when you press the A button, it's going to start installing it and stuff like that. But I just exited it back out of it because it's already have it installed. Let me go ahead and load it back up. Oh, I went to the wrong one. Let me go ahead and load it back up real quick. 
Now when it finishes installing and you go back to the beginning, it's not going to take you to this screen right here. So I'm just going to do this little part again. And you're not going to see the disclaimer. You're going to start off on this screen right here. Then you go over to version iOS 38, version 4123. And again, you press A to continue. Then you use your iOS 250 this time. iOS 250. We're going to go to wild installation again. And then we're going to be going to the same one to the Wii SD slot. Then when you press A, it's going to install it again. And that's pretty much it for that one right there. Some people have a hard time like installing those, but that's that's pretty much all it is. Let me go ahead to the Wad Manager. Another disclaimer: just press the A button to continue on it. And we're gonna be using the iOS version 249 to install the Wads. So just load it up, and when you get here, just go to Keep it on disable because we're not going to use none of those. Then you continue on to the Wii SD slot. And we go down to the wild folder that I showed you earlier. That we saved all our walls in. And that's why you can see all the walls that I have saved in it. The walls that you seen earlier. And this is the wall that you'll be using to so you can have a USB loaded GX channel right here. This is the one that you will install. But I'm not going to install this one right now. I'm just going to install the Wave Race 64 and the Shinobi. And we're gonna install the wad. And that only takes like a little while, so you don't have to worry about it too much. It's not gonna to take too long. And that's pretty much it for like how to install wads, but I am gonna install the uh, second one also too though. And as you can see it's pretty much done already. And you just press any button to continue. Let me go up here and install this second one real quick. This is Shinobi from the Sega Genesis. Again, you're going to select install wad. And it is pretty quick. It ain't, it ain't like it's a long process or nothing. But I don't know, some people get confused when they try to do it, but I don't know. That's why I figured I'd do tutorials on how to show people how to do it, and it's pretty much done already. And that's pretty much it. You just press your B button to back out. Then you can press the home button to restart it. Go back from the beginning. And that's pretty much it right there. And uh, once you install your custom iOS file, you should be able to run your USB GX loader then. No problem. It should load right up for you. But I'm not going to get into the USB loader this time. Uh, what do we have here? My system memory is full. Okay. Uh, I got so much like channels and stuff saved on it. Let's see if we can go away with that. No, I have to move something real quick. Yeah, that's how you know when you got too much stuff on your Wii when your memory is full. So let me move one of my quick channels real quick. Um, Cause that's what takes up most of your space on your Wii. It's like we have a whole lot of channels saved. And I had like a, a lot of game channels saved. So I'm gonna move the Yoshi Story one over. Just gonna move it over to my SD card. So it's like, it's not like nothing big major or nothing. But I guess you gotta do it. What's your way I can install more memory onto my Wii? If anybody know anything about that, just let me know. I'd like to see a tutorial on that, how to install more memory on the Wii. I don't know if that's even possible, but I don't know. Alright, that's done. Cool. Data has been moved. Cool. See if we'll if it'll work now. Yep, and there we have it. As you go, Shinobi 3 and Wave Race 64, new, brand new channels right there. And this is, uh, okay, nothing else back there. That's the one that was missing right here, the Yoshi channel. That's the one that I took off. But these are the two new channels right here. I'm not going to get into the Shinobi, but I'm going to play the Wave Race. And to play these games, you do have to have a, a classic controller. You either can have a classic controller or a GameCube controller. And I usually play mines with a GameCube controller. 
So that's pretty much it for this video right here. I'm, I'm pretty much about to uh, end this video off by playing a little bit of Wave Race 64. Haven't played this in a while. If y'all want to check it out. But um, I really didn't know what people want to see in part two. But just leave, uh, keep leaving comments like y'all already are doing. I continue to ask as many questions as I can. And just tell me like what else you want to see. I mean, cause I'm part three is probably gonna come up real soon. If anybody want to see anything new, any more tutorials on anything about the Wii and the Homebrew China and the USB loader. Them's the them's the mainly two that I only uh pretty much do. It's the Homebrew China and the USB loader. I don't really get into all the other apps. There's a lot of more apps you can do with the Wii. But I don't really get into all the other apps. But if anybody wants to see any other one, just let me know and I will see if I can do. Oh, I forgot how fun this game was, though. I thought I had forgot how to do that. Let me see if I can do a barrel roll. Oh, I still got it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, just if y'all keep commenting and let me know what you want to see, part three will come up real soon. It will come up way sooner than part two did. I had like a little complications. I had to wait on part two. But I hope this is what everybody wants to see. I know it's going to help a lot of people out with the USB loader and stuff like that. But just let me know what y'all want to see. And I, I'll wipe out. Now I'll see what I can do for you. Yeah, I'm about to have a little fun now riding around on my jet ski. I might play a little bit of this later on. Uh, there was something else I was going to mention. I forget it, though. I don't know. Uh, just keep leaving comments. Uh, I can use a lot of likes if you want to like. So, a lot of likes. And uh, this has been your World Beastie Boy Drama with another tutorial. And um, just let me know what y'all want to see. Alright, go on.